Across this great nation, there is a culture of people who carry on a heritage. They have an intangible quality that can't be described, but it comes from deep within their hearts. They share an appreciation for the greatest things that come from Mother Earth. They watch over, understand, and care for the vast wilds of this great country. Fishing, hunting, and trapping are the foundations that Canada was built on. For over two centuries, we have taken to the woods and water to pursue wild game. Today, it's about conservation, preservation, and wildlife management. Whether you are a man or woman, fish or hunt, you should support sound wildlife management and proudly say, I am an angler and hunter. The Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters proudly presents Angler and Hunter Television. Brought to you by Canadian Tire, a proud partner of Angler and Hunter Television, Mercury Marine and Lund Boats, Yamaha ATVs, Browning Firearms, Rapala, Winchester Ammunition, Wild Game Innovations, Excalibur Crossbows, and Yukon Gear. Holy smokes, I've never caught so many walleye in 15 minutes of my life. <laughs> Have we got enough to eat there? I think we got quite Let's a say you want to book the fishing trip of a lifetime. What do you think the best way to go about it would be? Maybe Google fishing lodges or fishing trips? Perhaps ask around if anyone could suggest a good spot. Yeah, those might get you some ideas, but for over 67 years, there's a tried and true method that will have you talking face to face with over 175 outfitters from all over North America. The Canadian National Sportsman Shows. One thing you'll never get from a website or a brochure is the opportunity to meet the lodge owners and operators. Hey, we're down here at the 2014 Toronto Sportsman Show and I'm with the, the chairman of the board, Walter Oster. And uh, you've all seen us over the past few years um, fishing out on Lake Ontario with Walter and catching yeah, salmon and trout and all those wonderful things, taking part in the, the Salmon Derby. But uh, how many years have you been putting on this, this show in Toronto? Well, this is uh, number 67 since 1948. Wow, see, those are, uh, it's all a blank to me because I was only born in 1972. So I started coming here probably when I was five or six years old with my parents, but uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's great to see how well this show does and, uh, and how well the fishing uh, has been, how, how good the fishing's been in Ontario alone. To get excited about this. The I past episodes we've done, we've caught, like I said, but, uh, big salmon you know, and trout and, and you've, uh, you've really exposed me to some of the, the finer things in life, uh, especially in the Toronto area. But you, you and Bill take a fishing trip every year. Yeah, well, and, you know, uh, Mike, when we were out there on, this, on Lake Ontario salmon fishing, you mentioned, why don't we go and do some pike and walleye? Well, you brag I, about how good yeah, it is, but I, the I, places I also, you go. But I also said I've got a fishing machine that goes with me Correct, everywhere. Correct, you did. And his name's Bill Baruti. Well, I love to fish, as yeah. you know, and we do trips all over the place, Mike. And actually, I'd love to do a trip in Ontario this year for pike and walleye, if we could find one of those great outfitters here down at the show. Yeah, well, and I think that's what we want to lead into, is the fact that the Toronto Sportsman Show, you can come and cast and win thousands of dollars, or you can you can buy a new boat or the latest Rapala gear. You can see all the, the coolest new stuff, but there's outfitters here from all over the province and all over Canada, in fact, that you can come down and you book a trip. And uh, you guys have had an opportunity to sample a few of those outfitters, so why don't we head over there and talk to a few and maybe see if we can book a trip yeah, great. And, and go on a fishing sure. adventure. Yeah. By visiting an outdoor show, you can walk the aisles and browse the hundreds of outfitters, then select the one that best suits your needs. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the place. Um, what we got here? Well, we have, uh, I think one of our biggest notable things is we've been catching and release for uh, over 20 years now, and not a lot of just a lot of lodges can say that. Right. After checking a few operators out, good friends Walter, Bill, and myself ultimately decided that walleye, big pike, and a flying experience were what we wanted most out of a trip. So we ultimately decided on Kasagami Wilderness Lodge, located in the James Bay Lowlands, northeast of Cochrane, Ontario. Oh, you, know, you, you, you might still have ice in June with the weather we're having. Okay. Well, that's okay. We're, we're ordering some extra ice augers. <laughs> Out 
for over 30 years, Excalibur has led the way in crossbow performance. We've crossed the strongest rivers. We've battled the harshest conditions. We've climbed into countless tree stands. We've stalked endless miles. We asked ourselves, how do you make the world's best crossbow better? Make it a micro. Mercury engine tap. Fuel efficiency you can rely on. It's good to have Mercury behind you. This is the moment. Get locked. Make it lethal. As a new generation of Winchester finds its mark, you make history. And another one makes the mantle. Longbeard XR. Locked and lethal. The new Minn Kota Fortrex. Its ruthless mono-arm design features an extruded aluminum backbone with uncompromising strength. A counter-tension stabilizer with no play and no give for silent operation. And lift assist for easy stow and deploy. But it doesn't just sound tough, it walks the walk by outmuscling anything in its path to help you catch more fish. Fortrex, the strong silent type with a built-in mean streak. Where did you come from? We're the Asian carps. We're from Asia. Well then, how did you get here? Our ancestors were scooped up and shipped to America. Then there was a flood and we were free. We heard about the Great Lakes and we've been trying to get there ever since. Some of our buddies have even hitched a ride north on trucks, but we never heard from them again. So just exactly what do you do? We like to eat a lot. And we like to eat first. And I like to jump and try to hit boaters in the face. Have you heard of EdMaps Ontario? Help prevent the introduction of Asian carps into Ontario waters. Report any potential sightings to the Invading Species Awareness Program hotline at 1-800-563-7711 or visit invadingspecies.com or edmaps.org slash Ontario. A message from Ontario's Invading Species Awareness Program in partnership with the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters. This portion of Angler and Hunter Television brought to you by Minn Kota and Humminbird. After several months of anticipation, the trip to Kasakany was finally here. A day's drive up Highway 11 from Toronto to Cochrane had us there in time for a quick dinner, checked in, and at the airbase for an early morning departure the following day. Fly and fishing trips are a must for any avid angler or outdoor enthusiast. Wilderness scenery and wildlife are the bonuses that come with the trip to an Ontario fishing lodge. When the plane lands and the outfitters greet you, only then do you realize that this is it. The lodge is your new home, and the lake your playground for the duration of your stay. That's a great big giant one. Oh, this guy's a big sucker here. Hey, slow down there, buddy. Oh, looks good. We're all good. supposed to be having a good time here, not just you. Looks good. Oh, bubble. Hey, nice going, Belle. Huh. Perfect shore lunch. All you gotta do is just fish right under the boat. Literally. Where are the fish? Under the boat. Oh, there we go, by golly. Beautiful gold fish, but he's been in a pike's mouth. Both sides of them are just shredded. So 20 bucks for the first pike? Oh, I hope Kim's pretty good. He was hungry. Sorry, buddy. So yeah, look at that. His, his dorsal's all tore up. 
This side will tore up. He's lucky. He's still bleeding right here. Yeah. Fresh blood. He's lucky to be alive. Get bigger. Sorry about your day, bud. At least you're not getting eaten. It's all catch and release up here at Kasagami, and we use barbless hooks so that we minimize the damage on the fish. We don't want to damage the fish at all. Is that your typical fishing posture, Walter? My posture? Yours. yours. Well, it is for fishing, but not for catching. Oh, okay. In catching, I get up for the big ones. I'm just trying to mimic you, but Bill's obviously got something going on by standing up. Yeah. He catches one every other cast. <laughs> it really is this easy. There's no divers, no trick photography. Yeah. I think we've been coming here for about 10 years, Bill, and it's just fantastic. One goes in, another one comes out. See how big mine was? Holy mackerel. Holy walleye. Oh, nice fish. Ah. No! The big one Literally that got right away. There. Everybody was waiting. Oh, I told you what happened, didn't I? <laughs> He's hooked good. She's line busted. How come all the big ones get away? They always get away hit somehow. On that fish. I can't get sick of this. I don't think I could get sick of it. And another one. That's a good one. Good looking fish. We can cut that, right? Make it four in a row. Let's go for five. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good That's one. That's a little better size. Patton. Here we go. <laughs> There's one right there. <laughs> To say an angler gets spoiled when they come to Kasagami is an understatement. With a basic setup of a rapala rod and reel, a variety of storm swimming chads, and Trigger X grubs, we caught more walleye than any of us imagined humanly possible. Whoa, Speaking of nice another. fish, right under the bow of your boat, Walter. Another. <laughs> uh, you're fishing our territory, Mike. <laughs> oh, sorry. You know, we're going to have to have a little talk about this uh, afterwards. Oh, it's a small one anyway. Yeah. So, Mike, uh, you know, I came up here totally prepared. And if all else fails, I have this great Rapala fish finder. That's a nice one. I got a lighter. That's a beauty. Suffolk 32 is constructed with seven strands of Dyneema and a single strand of Gore Performance Fiber. It's the roundest, longest casting line in the world. It offers superior abrasion resistance so you can fish it anywhere. It's the strongest, most sensitive, and durable small diameter braid ever to hit the water. Nice fish, Brett. Thanks. Suffolk 832, always use the best line. The makers of America's number one buck lure bring you Hotshot, a monumental advance in scent dispersal technology. Hotshot's exclusive bag and can technology separates the lure from the propellant, resulting in a 100% pure lure mist. No noisy spitting and powerful, consistent spray create a highly effective and deadly long range attraction. When your season comes down to one opportunity, trust Tinks. Tinks Hotshot, pure lure, pure attraction. That's a big one. So how many have you caught now on your Trigger X, Derek? I don't know. I'm, I'm not keeping score. Oh, really? Trigger X. Bass eat even when they're not hungry. 
most gun makers just add a new feature to improve performance. Every component of the Browning X-Bolt works together to deliver the most crucial feature, total accuracy. The Browning X-Bolt, an all new rifle system designed for total accuracy. This portion of Angler and Hunter Television brought to you by Ameristep. I think I speak for the majority of Canadians, and one of the most treasured traditions of fishing in Canada's wilderness is the Great Canadian Shore Lunch. First things first, Walter, Bill and myself jig up some tasty walleye and enjoy the fantastic fishing Kasagami has to offer. Holy smokes, I've never caught so many walleye in 15 minutes of my life. <laughs> There's Gump, we're in luck. Hey, look over here, Walter. How come he gets the big ones? He obviously hasn't gone to a guide school and learned about the customers getting the big ones. Just the way he holds them. I see, okay, well, he's good. <laughs> yeah, nice looking oh, fish. We got a nice one on over here too, eh? Well, your backside looks better than your front side, Mike. Look, you got him lassoed around the tail. Sorry. <laughs> That's three in a row. I'm gonna go for four here. <laughs> There's something over there in the water. Hey, what? That's a nice clear fish. Finally. Yeah, yeah. He's got a big one on. This will probably be the biggest one. <laughs> probably. I don't want to show him to you. Oh, it's a good one. Hardly. Well, there, now at least you can have lunch with us, Walter. Thank you. <laughs> got one here. I got one. Walter's got one. I, oh, we almost had a triple. Quadruple. I blew it. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> nice fish. Carbon copies. So. Gave me every opportunity to get four on at once. Quadruple header. Yeah. Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, Walter. Walter. Hey, Walter, you must just hang it off the edge. <laughs> I've caught all my fish just hanging my jig off nice the side fish. of the boat. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Aren't these seats What are you up to, down? Bill? <laughs> hey, what are you up to? It's huge. <laughs> i got to talk to the owner. Hey, look at seats. another double header. Wow, I almost went in. It's a good thing the shore lunch box is behind me. <laughs> <laughs> What's holding me down? Gravity? Woo! Oh, that was Bill Dance moment right there. <laughs> there he goes. Perfect shore launch. Good eating. I'm hooked on walleye. I hit him on slack line. You weren't getting away. Oh, one eye. This lodge is famous for what, Big Pike? What a wonderful morning. Speed and acceleration you can rely on. It's good to have Mercury behind you. Think GPS is just for getting you to the lake? Think again. The new iPilot wireless GPS trolling system can hold your boat in place like an electronic anchor. Record and retrace productive fishing paths, automatically keep you on any bearing you choose, and take total command of speed and steering. 
iPilot controls your boat with wireless GPS precision so you can focus on fishing. And it's only from Minn Kota. In fishing, nothing beats the confidence and enjoyment that comes with using the best equipment. There's a reason why generations of professional anglers, guides, and camp operators make Lund their boat of choice. They stand up to the elements and the repeated use that hardcore anglers put them through, season after season. Their guide-tested, wilderness-proven. Isn't it time for you to experience the Lund difference? This portion of Angler and Hunter Television brought to you by Winchester Ammunition. At Kasagami, they pride themselves on having some of the finest walleye fishing in North America. Just another fish in paradise. Hey, Mike, you know how you communicate with fish, don't you? No, I don't. Yeah, you drop them a line. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> Whoa, look at that one. Oh, that's a good one. I told him to put his jig there. <sighs> nice fish. That is a beauty. Skinny, long. Yeah. Yeah, we've had them with, as gold as can be, and that one was a gray-blue. Got a fish, Matt. Nice walleye. Double header. That's a good one. Well, I guess we're done walleye fishing. Gonna go and catch some giant e-socks. Or fill our bellies with fried goodness. I think it's time that we go and fill our bellies with that great walleye that you caught this morning. What about the one you caught? Well, I made a contribution. <laughs> but I, I, you know, I treat my fish as pets. I'd rather eat yours. <laughs> After countless walleye and plenty of laughs, we were all getting hungry and agreed it was time to fry up some fish and chow down on a great shore lunch. Over here. And this is oh, probably one of the best um, spots for shore lunch. No. You know, we were out on the water all morning and uh, we know that there are some fish stories that people tell. I would never tell a fish story. Would Always. you repeat that again? What? <laughs> that you would never, never tell a fish story? Uh, I've known you to tell a few fish stories. Not me. Bill, maybe. No, I wouldn't tell any fish no. stories. Yeah, well, you know what, any shore is a good spot to have shore lunch, but yeah, depending on the wind yeah. and the weather. Yeah. And I don't know what it is about a short lunch, but we got the wood burning here, we got the fire going, and of course the canola oil comes up to in very intensive heat. And I think once you put the fillets in there, they cook just so fast that, uh, that you know, the moisture doesn't escape, but it just remains in the fish, and oh my God, my mouth is watering. <laughs> Couldn't even finish yeah. that, eh? Couldn't even finish it. Well, I took quite a beating uh, this morning, as you can see my Was that a northern here. pike that got a hold of you? <laughs> you know. It was a northern pike. Actually, I ran into a caribou, <laughs> and uh, uh, you know, but you know, I'm here. The caribou's gone. Yes, you know. we won't. So we won't yeah. talk about the caribou anymore. Yeah. It's the first caribou I ever saw that close. You know. When, can we share? <laughs> Is there any sharing allowed? <laughs> and they're very fish conscious up here. You can't take any fish out. You're not allowed to keep any pike at all. You're allowed to keep a walleye or two for lunch as long as it falls within the jurisdiction of this 
uh, division. That one you had wouldn't have no, been able to keep anyway, so. Oh, would have had to go back. Oh, nice fish. Ah. No! The big one they that got right away. There. Everybody was waiting. Oh, oh, I told you it would happen, didn't I? <laughs> You're not allowed to take any fish home, and you have to put all of your fish back, and the fishing's always been fantastic yeah. out here. And of course, the catch and release policy uh, obviously yeah, works, and uh, barbless hooks. Barbless hooks. And also, you don't damage the, uh, <laughs> the fish. <laughs> We're pleased at the Sportsman Show to be affiliated with you, and yeah, we well, have you a know, good, it's, good relationship there. It's amazing how far back the, the Sportsman Show goes. I know I remember when I was a kid, on March break, yeah. you know, we would take the GO train and line up outside in the C&E grounds there, and yeah. it was just... You couldn't wait to get in the door. Right. Well, we're talking about the Toronto Sportsman Show, of course. Yeah. And that was established back in 1948. Yeah. And here we are 68 years later. Wow. You know, the Sportsman Association was established in 1924. And out of that evolved OFAH in 1928. That's right. And then here we have the Canadian National Sportsman Show came out in 1948. Mm -hmm and wow. continues to this date. So if you think of that link, that chain. It was uh, all spawned from trips like this. Yeah. You know, guys getting together and going into the, the country and the backwoods and cooking lunch over a fire. Mike, if it wasn't a good thing, we wouldn't be here today. No. Right? Yeah. And what is better than this? Not catching too much. More, catching more, more fish. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. That's some steam coming off of that. You're already into it. Hot? <laughs> so what, what did you learn from Bill Brudis this morning? Retie. <laughs> Frequently, if you're catching a lot of fish. Ah. No! <laughs> The big one they that got right away. There. Everybody was waiting. <laughs> well, you must be f fishing the same because you had so many double headers. Double header. That's a good one. I don't know if it was the way we were fishing or the spot we were fishing. Whoa! Speaking of nice wow, fish, right under the bow of your boat, Walter. Another. <laughs> uh, you're fishing our territory, Mike. <laughs> oh, sorry. You know I, we're gonna I, have to have a little talk about this. Uh, afterwards. Oh, it's a small one anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty plentiful walleye population here. Yeah. Yeah, you were in a hot spot there. Wow. Yeah! <laughs> Aren't these seats bolted down? <laughs> Whoever said money can't buy happiness must have never gone on a fly in fishing trip because this group was very happy. And only a half day into the adventure. It's amazing. We've only been here for four hours. We caught fish, had lunch, saw caribou. Look at Hey, boo boo. You like grease, hey? Sure like them french fried potatoes. Silly little bugger. I just can't believe mom hasn't shown herself at all. You gotta get big. Coming right out to you. Closed captioning of Angler and Hunter Television is brought to you by Ontario Out of Doors Magazine. Angler and Hunter Television has been brought to you by Canadian Tire, Mercury Marine and Lund Boats, Yamaha ATVs, Browning Firearms, Rapala, Winchester Ammunition, Wild Game Innovations, Excalibur crossbows and Yukon gear. For more information on the products used in this episode of Angler and Hunter Television, visit ahtv.com. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Remember, Conserve and protect our great outdoors.